Hey Pete here for Studio Live today and welcome to another GarageBand Quick Jam where in just two minutes I'm going to tell you all about a feature here in GarageBand and today we're looking at the sampler. Let's go. Okay, to get to the sampler we tap on the sampler button here at the bottom of the keyboard. And from here we can either record a new sample or use an existing sample. Let's tap on My Samples and here you will see a library of the existing samples that we have in GarageBand. To use a sample, simply tap on it in the library and then play your notes. Oh, oh, oh. To record a new sample, we tap on New Sample and now we can record any sound into the microphone after we hit the Start button. Uh... And now we can immediately play back our sample by using the keyboard. Uh... You'll notice we're here in the trim function where we can adjust the start and finish of the sample. If we tap the tune option in the middle, we can now tune the sample to a different sound. You can see GarageBand has already attempted to tune and if we hit the note, we'll see how well it's done. Uh... In this case, the note does not match the tone of that note, so we need to adjust it. Uh... And there it is by turning the coarse tune up by four semitones. Uh... Now our notes match. And this means any other instrument is going to be in tune with this sample. Uh, if we tap on the shape, we can now adjust the volume fade in and fade out of this sample. To do that, we touch on these automation points and move them around to change the fade in and the fade out of a sample. Uh, and you can see with this shape, we're fading in and then we've got an immediate stop to the sample. Quickly reverse our sample by tapping the rev button over here on the right. Uh, and we can tap on loop to create a looped sample. Uh, 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 Tapping on My Samples takes us back to the home screen where we can now rename our sample by pressing Rename in the top right. And we can also delete a sample by pressing Delete in the top right and then again in the top left. And GarageBand will ask us to confirm the deletion. Finally, we can choose to add this to our library by tapping Add to Library and hitting Done. And this will mean we can use this sample in other GarageBand projects. And one final cool trick is the import function. Under new sample, we hit import, and now we can import from Apple Loops, audio files, or our own music files as well. We can tap to preview, and then press the box on the right with the down arrow to import. And that is it for today's GarageBand Quick Jam. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.